So let me explain a little bit about this Magnus effect and gyro spin and why it's important for pitching. So you can think of pitching as trying to make the ball move different ways. You can make the ball move quote unquote up, you can make it move sideways one way, the other way, or down, or any sort of combination there. And these are the tools that you have as a pitcher to do that. So Magnus effect is the most understood by pitchers. It's when the ball is spinning with no gyro spin. So one example of that would be straight back. This would be an example of a 6 to 12 fastball where it's spinning on that 6 to 12 axis of going backwards. And the spin of the ball makes it move quote unquote up. It doesn't actually make it move up. It just falls less than it would otherwise. Now, if we turn it the other direction, and we have the Magnus effect going in this way, this is a 12-6 spin axis in what a curveball would be. And then that ball would go down. It would have a very steep downwards break. So you have the gravity plus what the spin is contributing it uh, to it. Then we have sideways. This is another way that you could do it. And this ball spinning this way would make it move in this direction more than it would otherwise. And so on and so forth. If I spun it this way, it would go that way. And it, this doesn't need to be on just like a cross straight up and down. Like you can have it tilted a little bit like this. So when I said I, that Connor had like a 130 spin axis based on my eye, not the Rasoto, I mean he was spinning it, if it was just Magnus, at this spin axis. That's a pretty typical righty spin. Um, ah, I can't really spin and hold the phone well, but you can imagine it's spinning on like this axis right here, about 130. So that's Magnus. Now to make things very interesting, there's always there's also something called gyro spin. So if you think of how a bullet or a football spins, it spins like this. Now this does not contribute in the primary mover Magnus effect at all. It does zero. So it's not as cut and dry as this. It's not like you you throw it with all Magnus and then you throw it with all gyro. You can throw it with, say, 90% Magnus and 10% gyro. So the spin on the ball, the faster you spin it, the more it moves in those directions. But 10% of that spin is not working or contributing to the movement of the ball. So that's a very good introduction. If you were to throw a very heavily gyroed pitch, that's a pitch that we call a slider. And that can... Um, like disrupt the batter because they tend to swing over it and or hit ground balls because it it drops more than the average fastball. It's like a mini curveball, if you will. And on some of Connor's pitches, at least my eye, my eye can be wrong. Um, I saw a little bit more gyro on some of the pitches, almost borderline slider or cutter, actually probably more close to a cutter given the speed that he was throwing it. So a cutter is just a heavily gyroed fastball. You can think of it like that. Um, yeah, so I think that's a good intro, and then I can maybe follow up.